Hi everyone, I'm Pafua Yang. I'm at our Brooklyn Park studio. I'm about to go on a Zoom meeting, but before that, how would you rate my background and how can I make it a little bit more decent? Well, those are some of the questions I'll be asking Jane Morrison. Jane is an interior designer from Plymouth. Hi, Jane. Hello. So Jane, what can people do to make their backgrounds look a little more decent during Zoom meetings? I would say first and foremost, check it. Make sure it is neat and tidy. And the best way to check it is to take your phone. It's quite simple. Take your phone around your house and try different spots within your house. Um, like check the lighting and check the background. You want to make sure you look professional um, and you want to give a good image of yourself, particularly if it's for a job interview or if it's with colleagues. With everybody working from home now, there's lots of Zoom meetings all day long, and you want your colleagues to know that you're working professionally and that it, it helps to be dressed professionally and your room to look professional. Mm -hmm. What colored backgrounds would you suggest? So that pretty much depends on the person. Um, color is so important. We all have colors that we look better in. I am a warm, I have warm coloring, and you can see from my background that I have warm tones. For other people that um, have our cool tones, then the background could be grays and blacks and, and um, e even primary colors. Um, but it's different for each person. And that's why you should practice. You should have, you can easily have your work colleagues or your friends or family um, help you decide what you look best in mm -hmm. and what your background, the yeah. ba best background for you is. What about furniture or photos or antiques? I mean, what's the best way to um, design your background with those kind of things? So it's easy to take different pieces of furniture, try it sitting on your sofa, sitting at your desk, sitting at, I am sitting at my dining room table with a framed print behind me and accessories on either side of them. So it's easy to move things around and to practice um, so that you look the most professional you possibly can. What are your thoughts on being in front of a plain wall? A plain wall is probably better than um, a background that's pretty messy and shows exercise equipment or pizza boxes or coffee cups. Um, a plain wall can work. Um, it, yeah, and then there's no distractions because um, you want to make sure you don't have anything that's distracting, um, any accessories or anything inappropriate um, on your wall mm -hmm. or on your desk. What are your thoughts on being in front of uh, awards and plaques? And that's a very good idea. If you can ha can um, pull your chair up, um, your office chair right in front of your awards. That's a great idea. You want to make sure it's not distracting though. Okay. And Jane, why is it important for people to have a decent background during a Zoom meeting? It's so important to, to remind everybody how professional you are. And it, and so it's a one simple thing you can do. It's not, there's not too many other things we can do to remind our colleagues, our work colleagues, or our clients that we are professional other than having a, a very appropriate background. Okay, thank you so much. And we'll have Jane's information on our website, ccxmedia.org. Reporting in Brooklyn Park, Pafua Yang, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.